what's going on YouTube it's been a while since I made a video I haven't really updated any of my cars got a little lazy on the YouTube thing so decided to kick it off with uh, I guess this new project here S14KA. It's got some goodies in here. Uh, car currently doesn't run. The motor was basically dropped in and nothing was hooked up. But it looks like some most majority of it's hooked up. So all we're gonna do is see if we can get this thing on and use it as a, a drift missile. Got all the spare parts inside. Getting ready to clean it all out so I can get the tear and everything out. Bunch of spare parts. Update. So this is like three days from uh, the last video I took. We got the car back from uh, the dude's house. And we actually got it started. Didn't record any of it. Uh, I might have some phone clips so I'll just throw it in. Uh, we're actually about to start it again anyways. So we ran into some issues when we started it initially. Uh, the math was put in backwards and what else that was it right that was it that was making it run like shit right that and the timing was off oh yeah and the timing is off too jay's wiring up the fans so that they will work and then we got the new uh serpentine belt for the water pump power steering no power steering for now i gotta get all the lines for it and um the brakes and clutch have been bled so everything works now uh, it does have a short shifter I don't know what brand but it has a blue plate but it is really 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 nice um, it does have new rack bushings that we noticed uh, still open diff but however I'm gonna be trading uh, one of my buddies for his LSD here we are the final moments just gotta get the steering column bolted back up and then we can take this thing for a test drive. Dirty knees. Yo. That'd be dangerous. Alright, so quick update. Uh, car was overheating. Turns out thermostat wasn't opening up. Uh, I took the thermostat out and just gonna run it with no thermostat for now. See if um, it's still overheating. Right now we're trying to get the fans figured out because they stopped working for whatever reason. 
Mm-hmm. So we're trying to figure it out. Uh, worst case scenario, we're probably just gonna have to hardwire it to a switch. What'd you say? Okay. BMW is being revived after I neglected it for many years. <laughs> Got S chassis galore over here. Mm, another Sylvia. Some some SR goodness. Got the wild body going on. Uh, so update. I just installed the LSD. Thanks to Herson, traded him my open diff, yeah. plus some of my old intercooler parts over there for this diff. Thank you. And uh, yep, yeah, should, should be ready for some skids. All that's left now is to just get an exhaust. Once I have an exhaust, I can get it registered insured and everything and then run it everything's pretty much shipped out for the most part Got these old uh, side mount pieces are here oh also in uh got a short shifter so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the short shifter out of that 240 and put it that one in this one because that one's really notchy and I like it that, that way and I don't know how this one feels so I'm just gonna throw this in the shit car so mm -hmm. all right we're finishing off the day just got the cars washed you got poncho here poncho sweaty like a motherfucker bro do you turn the fucking s13 um that's how some water spots but I mean it's so better than before uh, you should, you should uh, record it like a before and after so people can see, you know what I'm saying, what's up with the, the, the Nah, it's okay. We got Poncho on the E85 now, making what, 3, 330 to the wheels? 330 to the wheels. On stock motor FRS. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, right. Uh, E85. Full 85.
like gaining so much speed. You know, it feels good. Yeah, it feels super good.